I give you. Okay. Uh, hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Uh, we are doing something a little bit different here. Uh, I thought it would be fun uh, instead of me just kind of talking into the void uh, to bring a friend with me and make a video talking about uh, Phantoma. Uh, this is my, my friend, Broken Teacup Opus. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you watch the streams, uh, Opus pops up quite a bit. Um, so yeah, Opus. A lot. <laughs> Opus. Yes. Are you excited? I am very, I am very excited to introduce you to Phantoma. Uh, for people who are unaware of Phantoma, Phantoma is, um, by most serious comic historians, the first female superhero. Uh, she was the first female superhero with her own feature. Uh, and, uh, and she beats Wonder Woman by about a year, if I am remembering my timeline correctly, and I'm probably not. Um, and what's special about Phantom? Well, well, we'll get into this because I, I got, I got, I have her first issue out here. I, I Opus has seen a little bit of this, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go through her first issue, and we'll, we'll see, we'll see what a special person Phantom truly is. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Opus? I am. I am excited. I don't excited get to read to many it. comics. Yeah. Opus. Uh... <laughs> okay. Share. We're going to share my screen. Okay. Share screen. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Zoom, for telling me I'm sharing the screen. So. <laughs> It's it's always great when Zoom is like, you're sharing your screen. Yes, thank you, Zoom. The thing I explicitly wanted to do. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Mystery Woman of the Jungle, Phantoma by Barkley Flag. Uh, that is not the person who created that. That is a pseudonym. Uh, the person who created it was uh, uh, Flesher Hanks was his name. Um. Uh, he uh he uh Fletcher Hanks was famous for another creation called uh Stardust S Space Wizard. Uh interesting. Yeah. Uh both of the both Stardust and Phantom have a similar like um I similar structure, I would say, or theme. They do they do st stuff very uh, similar uh, sim similarly. Okay. Uh do you want to read for Phantom? When, when she comes up? Sure, sure. Okay, okay. I, I will say right off the bat, Yeah. I think it's interesting that the, quote, mystery woman of the jungle is a very pale... White blonde, blonde lady? White woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Isn't that... Isn't the that a jungle. Strange? It's like... Hmm. Yeah, that, that's one of those things. It's like... Perhaps oh, a little yeah, bit this, of the character the... of the author showing through there. Yeah, well... Yeah, it's... Yeah, uh, it's like... um, Yeah, welcome to the 1920s, where everybody is yeah, white. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, I believe this was the 1940s. I, forgive me. You know what? I'm going to look this up just to make sure I, I get the timeline right, because... And it even has a, an elephant explicitly behind her. So we know what jungle she's from. Yeah. Or at least what jungle she's in currently. I don't believe that there are any... Phantom uh, superhero. White jungles? What are you talking? Or jungles what you... of white people? Yeah, jungles but... near white people that's what i was meaning yeah well well white people have gone to jungles before it's just yeah it doesn't they turn out well for the people who are living live there. there first female superhero Ow. sorry I'm, but I'm just... at least she's making his 19... as the first female yeah 1941 she's making history as the first female and You'll see in a second uh, the type of thing that this story is, because uh, it goes into some places. It goes into some places. You'll see. I'm uh, sure of the time. Yeah. 
uh th- this this is this is a pretty fun one to, to this is a pretty fun one so <clears throat> no white man knows where the elephant goes when he wanders off to die that long sought spot in the jungle called the elephant's graveyard has remained an in- unsolved mystery to the ivory hunters only the mysterious phantoma knows where the great mountain of ivory is located. After thousands of years, the accumulated tusks in the secret yard- graveyard amount to a fabulous fortune. In the royal procession marches Mula. Mola? Sorry, I, I'm super dyslexic. I'm going to mispronounce words all the time. I apologize to everybody in the world at all times for everything I've done up to this moment. <laughs> The old and honored elephant bedecked with jewels. At the end of the day, his intelligence tells him he is soon to die with the cunning of his kind. He sneaks away without being noticed. Okay, okay. So far, not bad, right? Right? It's definitely interesting. Yeah. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. Okay. Mula plunges through the jungle, his instincts guiding him towards the graveyard. And Sean's instincts moving over here so he can read. In the meantime, the palace has reached a state of great excitement. Mula and the jewels are gone! Two ivory hunters hear the news. The old elephant has probably gone off to die. This will be our chance. Chance to find the elephant's graveyard and become the richest people in the world. I'm on. I'm on. That feels like it should say I'm in, right? Yeah, that doesn't feel like correct grammar. It's not. Maybe it was at the time. Yeah. Yeah, that might. The ivory hunter. Maybe I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, but it It feels like it doesn't make sense. Well, that, you know, you know what they say, one typo, uh, the entire story is ruined. <laughs> and yeah, it's the exactly. Worst thing <laughs> <I've ever. laughs> the ivory hunters begin following Mula's trail. The bloodhounds have the scent. As Mula reaches a waterfall, a strange form greets him. Okay. There's our girl. And that's Phantomo. Yes. Quite the sheer dress she's got on. Yes, yeah. She is uh yeah, yeah, it's almost she's almost nude, you could say. She's basically You're nude. nude. Yeah. I don't see much color difference. No, 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 no. It's I'm sure it's Fletcher's um innate uh you, you know the the thing you find about like early golden age comics is one the art is all weird looking and two it's um you know, it, um the innate um oh how do i say this sexualization thing? It, it, it was always there from the beginning it was all it, it never stopped it, it was early like um uh, it never stopped it never started it just yeah. was it was there since the beginning of the universe and the Big Bang. <laughs> Comic mm-hmm. art- artists have, were always kind of... Uh, I always forget who it is. Uh, one of the Superman creators uh, made underground uh, BDSM comics. Oh my gosh. As a side. Yeah, yeah. That, that like, you know, wholesome uh, apple cheap Americana. So uh, that's sp- why Superman gets chained down so many times. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. This. This is, it will be an interesting discussion if we because. Uh. The vague plan that we have is we're going to review the first three superheroes, uh, female superheroes, first issues, mm-hmm. and this will be an interesting discussion when we get to Wonder Woman because that is definitely um uh, an element in Wonder Woman because. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, the lasso of truth. All kinds yeah. of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but like the creator of that is um uh it, 
yeah yeah had uh, talked about that very openly um steady oh right look there he is a woman is leading him steady mula we are passing through the arch of death as the ivory hunters reach the waterfall a particular perfume fills the air i can hardly breathe notice how the dogs are acting the bloodhounds suddenly become terrified. They break their leashes and dash into the bush. What is happening? Their death cries soon echo across the canyon. I wonder what killed them. Then from out of the darkness, out of the darkness, the bamboons? Oh, my soul! So this is Phantoma right here. Is that her? Yeah. Interesting. So Phantoma's whole deal is she'll oftentimes just turn into a skull. Just a skull. Yeah. And hair. Yeah. <laughs> just chilling. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's pretty wild. The apparition d disappears. Good lord, let's get away from here. Yes, we must. Uh. Overtake Mula. Here are the tracks. He's gone through the arch. The ivory hunters suddenly enter the enter a blind valley. Look, there's Mula. He's seeking sinking. Sinking in quicksand. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I know how to say words. <laughs> it must be the elephant's graveyard. We must go before those we must get those jewels before he sinks. Never mind the jewels. Look at that pile of ivory. As the men stand gazing at the fortune, I wonder how I can get all of, get all of this ivory out of here. What do you mean by I? Aren't we partners? There we go. You are partners. Partners in death. Oh, you cut out there for a sec. Oh, sorry. Well, no, uh, I mean, I'll just do it internet. over. Internet. Do it again. You are partners. Partners in death. Ha! <laughs> Good Lord, what do you mean? He who visits the elephant's graveyard shall never get out alive. You mean we're trapped? <laughs> Behold the arch. Your only way out of escape is now closed to you. Closed by Phantoma. Why are you doing this to us? Open that arch or we'll kill you. As they leap for Phantoma's throat, she changes form. You have entered sacred ground. You cut, you, you cut out there again. You have entered sacred ground. Be careful. Who's a Afraid of skeletons. Come on, let's get those jewels. Fired by greed, the ivory hunters rush up on Mula. I like, I'm sure I'm missaying it, but I like how, of course, like Fletcher, like decided to name the ele the rich, el the elephant with all the jewels, Mula, which is like an old timey way to say money. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it might be Yiddish. No, no, I'm nervous. I think it's it's a year. Oh, it's Spanish. Oh, okay. Is it? Comes from the okay. He's dead. Get every jewel before he seeks. It sinks. I, mean, I can say words. They bring the jewels and. They find the jewels and bring them to the arch. Like misers, they begin estimating the values of the precious stones. The jewels, they're worth millions. Why should I share this? <clears throat> Why should I share this wealth with him? Stab. You know, I find it interesting that everybody's chill as long as the stakes are low. Yeah. But as soon as it's millions... 
Like, what does it yeah, matter? The money. Like, you're cool with sharing Sometimes your it... paycheck. That's two hundred dollars. You each get two hundred dollars. That's fine. Yeah. But so, what does it matter? With money, you'll never be able to spend. What does it matter if it's split between the two of you? Yeah, it's. But 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 Opus Opus, you could have all of the money. But. You are fine with half of the two hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. But four hundred dollars could buy you a Samsung Galaxy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> people. Yeah. Now it's all mine. What is happening? I'm sinking. Quicksand, help! The yeah. elephant's graveyard is still a secret. Yeah. And that and that's and then it ends with an ad for a bike. Nice. So that so that was like the very first female superhero. Yeah, uh, the ad is very telling of the, yeah. of the time yeah. that this comes from. You can even get a Mickey Mouse watch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So absolutely. Uh, yeah. Well, you don't want a Mickey Mouse watch? So what did you what did you think? So what's so great about like fandom uh, is like uh, both great, f- funny and great is like th- these are all like what Phantom comics are. It's just like some like guy in a pith helmet will enter the jungle. They'll see Phantom and Phantom will come up with these like elaborate ways to kill people. That's nuts. Right. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much just like uh, it's pretty much just like a slasher story. But seems told... like it. What? I said seems like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just it's it's just told from the perspective. It's well, we actually never really learn who like Phantoma is. Like, uh, uh that's uh, sad. Well, uh, Fletcher kind of vanishes a- after a short period in comics. Um, oh well, then that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, again, not a good dude. Not a good dude. Yes, kind of, uh, absolutely. Uh, but. Yeah, so but all of them are just these like elaborate ways to kill people. Like that that's pretty much half of what Flesher Hanks comics really are, are just like he comes up with these bizarre ways to kill people. Like there'll be situations where she'll like uh like four or five people will come into the jungle and she'll merge them all together and then have them be eaten. You know? And it's all these uh it's all these like kind of elaborate like um uh I just imagine if I can't was... hear you anymore. Oh, you can't? Oh, there we go. Ah, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, it's just these kind of imaginative ways. It, they're pretty fun. They're pretty fun. Like, uh, you know, it's it, yeah. yeah, they're essentially slasher movies, which it, it's it's funny that like uh so what did what did you think of kind of like uh these sorts of thing this sort of story? I think it was definitely interesting yeah it's definitely outdated you can tell <laughs> what no what no this but is... it's 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 interesting i think it's a little sad we never figure out what's up with what's with up with phantoma but yeah. well a different team will come in later considering the reason yeah yeah a different uh, the thing with like Fletcher's comics, and if we if uh, we ever get around to covering his other major character, Stardust, uh, the Space Wizard, which I would like to at some point, is Fletcher uh, was not interested so much in like character or plot or, um, like telling a cohesive story. He was he was mostly yeah. interested in doing weird shit and like 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 Star Stardust, both Stardust and Phantom are so funny because it's like. They just have all the powers. They just have all powers. Like, you notice how she so was able, they're able like to... They're basically God. Yeah, yeah, they're basically God. Like, you notice how she was able to change, like, change it to quicksand? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's just it. She can do anything she wants. And it's all to just, like, kill people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Pretty messed up. Pretty, pretty messed, up. messed up yeah but uh history wise this it this is the first female superhero 
like this was the first female superhero well, series this was the first female superhero the question there would lie is is she a hero she's definitely super but is she yeah. a hero that is a good and question that would be up for debate yeah but we'll yeah, go ahead and give it to her yeah that is a, that is a good question because you know, like I'm sure people uh, who will watch this will like go like, well, uh, technically, you know, it's uh, some myth or something, and it's like that's a good point. Like super, but superhero, is, I always feel is like a fairly unique phenomenon. It, it definitely mm -hmm. is inspired by those sorts of like Greek myths and stuff, right? But it, I, superheroes are a fairly like modern phenomenon that has their own rules. And like one of them tends to be that um you know in Greek myths uh the heroes are kind of uniform not uniformly there's good but a, a lot of them are like kind of jackasses you know Yeah unfortunately yeah. well I think basically everyone in anything Greek mythology yeah. is pretty awful Yeah I mean, well Zeus Hades all that no yeah, Hercules does bad things. Part of it is that like culture, I would say, has changed so dramatically from true, true that that what we consider like good and noble is very different than what like they would have considered that. Right. But, like the Greeks, you know, heroes were less about like um doing good and more like, oh, this is an interesting guy who did some cool things. Right. He did something amazing that none of us could ever hope to have yeah. done. He must be a hero. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, like, I mean, part of the deal with, like, Greek stories is it's always supposed to end bad for the characters. Mm -hmm. You know? It's always a tragedy in the end, which... It's funny that, like, when you really think about it, isn't it weird that, like, happy endings are a more recent phenomenon? It is interesting. It definitely is. Yeah. Anytime you re read anything that old it's it's always and they all died or and that fucked up her life yeah you know <laughs> it was sad everybody was sad but um recent stuff no no it's uh, that's really fast, funny uh, but um so uh phantoma uh, phantoma is uh I don't know. It's interesting. And it's interesting that this is the first female. I don't know. It's weird that it's like, I, I, I try, you know, I have a fairly decent grasp of like superhero history and stuff. And it's like, and you try, like, uh, if we do the next hero who I, I'd love to cover, uh, you'll see that she is much more in line with like what modern superheroes are like. Um, I'm sure. Yeah. It's a Canadian one. So, uh, uh oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that one's pretty. It, it's pretty great. I've read. I've been reading a lot of that one. Uh, I'd I'd like to cover that next, but uh, I Phantoma. I, I don't know. Phantoma is like when like superhero comics were still like kind of partly in like horror and like pulp, you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Would you ever read any more Phantoma comics? I probably would yeah. if it was made available to me. Yeah. Easily. I yeah. probably would just to see um, you know, what's going on, even yeah. though I know that we never actually learn. Well but I feel like it would be interesting. I mean, I like comics, so yeah. I yeah. probably well, would read a few more at least. Yeah. Well, uh the thing is like um would Fletcher uh, oh, kind sorry, of sorry, I can't hear you. Hold on. <clears throat> no worries. When Fletcher vanishes, a new team takes over and um... Uh, they do give her a backstory that she's a reincarnated oh, that she's a reincarnated Egyptian princess, but okay, that, there you go. Uh, that's Egyptian princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... You, know, you know how Egyptian princesses hmm. are all blonde and pale, right? But uh, that that and uh, being as like Phantom is now in the public domain, uh we uh it, you know it's free for all what would you want her backstory to be opus if you could pick sorry i think my headphones are trying to die on me oh how dare they they are 
like crimes, not battery wise. Crimes. They're just trying to go out to pasture. You know, Scooby Doo had a grandpa with human characteristics. I heard something about Scooby Doo. Oh, can you hear me? No. Testing, testing. Uh, very faintly. Keep talking. What if I? What if I like? There just we go. And put it up right close to you. Here, okay. I don't think it was that. I think I fixed it for now. Question mark. Well, that's the way you do it. You just kind of bang mm, at it until not. it works. So, Opus, uh, if you could, um, what no, what do you I think can't. her backstory would be? There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna not touch the wire again. Yes. Opus, if for you could. Phantoma. Yeah. What do you think her backstory should have been? Um. I mean, it's well, public domain. You can do whatever you want with the character, you know? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Um, well, I think possibly she should have been like the daughter of death. Like Ooh. the Grim Reaper death, you know? Oh, that rules. I or love maybe that. his wife or somebody. Because she seems like a death character. I mean, she kills everybody. But yeah. even just from the one comic that I read with you, yeah. just from only that context, like I was like, she seems like a Grim Reaper, but like proactive. Yeah. Yeah. And she, I, I like her as the daughter of death. And it's like, oh, you just, you just wait for people to do stuff. I'm going to like to die. I'm going to like make it happen. Right. And why don't I just do it to these stupid bad guys? Yeah, while yeah. While I'm at it, pith helmet wearing losers. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know who her mother would be, but I uh, I think she would be the daughter of death. And the who the mother should uh um uh, uh a tree. Her mom's a tree. Sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> well, that would make her make a little more sense for the 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 jungle. Exactly. The jungle and and death had a baby for yeah. some reason. Yeah. And she's pale because, well, death. Yeah. And tree. Yeah. I love it. Let's do that. Let's She's do that. She's a skeleton, so yeah. why is I, she not pale? Yeah, I mean her like consistent the consistent way she is, it like the blonde haired, um like like pale, very pale woman is like mm -hmm. not as consistent as like her in that skull, her being like a right, skull just right. floating around screaming at people. I I'd like to say I'd like to say that that would probably be because that's her true form. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's her true form, too. Uh, it, it is it is funny that, like, the first female superhero, yeah, she is sexualized, but also the majority of the time she spends as, like, a skull just screaming at people. You know? Uh uh, which is certainly like an, a different take than just, I mean, most superheroes are displayed as like being good looking inherently, you know? Right, right, for sure. You know, they're all supermodels. Well, I think that that is just the fallibility of man. Most people aren't going to want Sorry, to look at art of bit. an ugly person. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, that's, yeah, that's. The way that's been throughout all of history, we're just terrible people who are super At this point, we just feed into it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, but it is it is fascinating. It's like, oh, I don't know. There is something, I, I, I'm curious, you know, you don't want to get too much into Fletcher's mind, but it's like, there is a thought process. It's like, he was like, um... Hmm, female super hmm, female superhero. Okay. Skeleton who kills people. 
right? Like that. That that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and then that's uh, the most that consistent his... form she takes. Not pretty blonde woman, just a skeleton. Yeah. And often just the head, just the skull. Right. Sc screaming at people in the jungle. Right. Uh, because how can she be a superhero if she has more than just a head? Yeah. That's all you need is just the head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and she can just do Pretty anything crazy. and be anybody. <laughs> uh, I, it, I don't know. These comics are so weird. Uh, they've rebooted this a few times, uh, you know, um, especially because, uh, you know, uh, recent, uh, I think it's a uh, frapt fraptonomics. I've never actually said their name out loud recently republished the entire, uh, pretty much all of Fletcher's work works. Um, interesting. Yeah. Uh, they, they've done, uh, and, uh, you know, it's funny with comics is that you read a lot of stuff, but uh, you don't actually say them out loud very often, you know? Right. For and sure. it's like, I, I was just like, oh, it's, it's, I don't know how you pronounce their name. Anyway, uh, so that got a lot of publicity. So they uh, recently, a Canadian company uh, created a, 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 a updated character, uh, oh. uh, which I haven't read that series yet. I, I'd like to. I'm curious how they do it. Um, but it is, it, it is fascinating. Uh, okay. Okay. Opus. Yes. Who do you think? Okay. Movie. Who do you think should play her? Um, who do I think should play Fantoma? Yeah. Hmm. I'm just searching for faces in my brain. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter if they're blonde because they yeah. could just have their hair dyed, right? If you, uh, for people who don't know, this is maybe the single meanest thing I could have asked. Because <laughs> I don't know names. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could still look them up based on their character <laughs> in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Gwyneth Paltrow, but first of all, she's become quite problematic. And second of all, she's already in movies as yeah. a superhero. What, what are you talking about? Gwyneth Paltrow, all she does is work very hard during the pandemic to undermine science, undermine uh, accredited doctors. What's problematic about that? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> uh you know if they were um, good, if they were going to actually adapt this it, I, it probably should be the rebooted comic because like i don't know if you could really get away with it as a modern day movie <laughs> yeah would, would you pick? see my brain stuck on blonde women yeah um, and i don't know that many oh have you seen once upon a time uh is that was that the um kind of uh, abc show no yeah way. it was that tv show yeah uh the the main character she would have done good yeah that was essentially like disney but like prestige disney but what if lost right that that's what it always looked like to me i never saw it yeah basically yeah what if disney what if law disney yeah but jennifer lost. morrison if you know who that is yes well uh let's see let's see. let's see jennifer morrison i feel like she would have done a good job she would be a good skull jennifer morrison <laughs> yes oh yeah she would fit yeah it's important you know we uh, to get a the right actress we have to really ask one question would she be a good skull <laughs> basically she has to be a good skull she would be a good skull yeah so i, I she think, has pronounced skeletal I, I think, features yes i think she would really appreciate that if we just like go like can we, we'd like to get an impression of your skull <laughs> 
spray I'd like to x-ray your skull for this yeah, movie. Like, Do you want me in the movie? No, we just want your skull. <laughs> Don't be weird. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. That... I feel she... like she could pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at her... Um... I'm just looking at her, uh, uh, like the movies she's been in. Mm -hmm. oh, a wide range. It's like once yeah. upon a time, good. You know, I, I never saw that, but that was a popular show. House, that was a very popular show. Big Stan with Rob Schneider. Oh, geez. Well, you gotta, you gotta get money. You gotta get money somehow. You know, it's funny because um, me and Mama went to a yeah. trivia thing yesterday and there was basically they have a bonus question and they give you hints after every round of trivia yeah. for the singular bonus question and the more hints you get the less points it's worth and this time it was here's the name of a movie who directed it yeah and i was like oh bigfoot would kill this yeah most oh. of them, I didn't even, like, I've never even heard of those movies. Like, it's really, really old ones. Oh, I, I definitely, yep, that, I would have done good on those. I, yeah, I think it was Wes something was West the director. Or Wes Who? Anderson. Or, Wes Anderson. Yeah. Probably. I'm well, I've seen, me. I think, all of his movies, so. Have I seen them all? Seen most it, of them. it was the it was whichever director did Scream one two three and four. That would be as West well Craven. as a bunch of old movies. Then That's yeah, West, West Craven. Craven. There's a lot of My directors bad. named Wes. I don't I don't know why, but there is just a lot of directors named Wes. It's uh yeah, it's Wes Wes Craven uh, directed the. Um, it's probably just a popular old people name. Yeah, I it, I feel like it was a popular like um. Like when boomers were having Gen X kids, yeah, that was a popular name. Like, yeah, because it's Wes sure. Anderson is another. I don't know, because you know it's almost West. It's like uh, I don't know. Manifest Destiny. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of like why wasn't like uh, S pop E A S popular? Oh, <laughs> or Nor. Why isn't Nor popular or Sal? Sal. Yeah, Sal would have been a pretty good name. I'll name my son Sal. <laughs> there is um the first one or the second? All of them. They'll all be named that. <laughs> uh there's a very famous figure in Texas history. I, I, I we're both from Texas. You might have heard this, heard of her. Uh uh Irma Hogg. It doesn't ring a bell, but you know, I'm sure Irma I've Hogg? heard of her. Opus, have you ever heard of her? It doesn't uh, ring a bell, but I'm sure I've heard of her. Yeah, well, uh, she was quite notable specifically for her name. It's because it's Irma. It's no, it's. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Um, Irma Hog. Yeah, because it's spelled I am I'm a hog. I'm a hog. It's spelled oh, I M A Hog. That's so mean. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even like. They didn't know, like, like it. It just didn't occur to them that that would be an issue until much later in life. Like, uh, yeah. Is isn't that like just? Isn't that just the worst name possible? I'm a hog. Yeah, I swear. Uh -huh. Some parents they don't. They don't consider the child when they choose their name. Yeah. Uh, my dad told me that. Uh, my dad told me that story, and he said that she had a sister. Uh, oh yeah, Yura. She, she said that. Uh, my dad told me she had a sister named Yura Hog. Oh man. <laughs> there wasn't those there, poor kids. There, uh, there wasn't. That was just a joke. Uh, it, it was I'm a hog, but anyways. Um, we digress quite far from the topic of Phantoma, but that's yes. fine. I don't, yeah, that's fine. It's, uh, but anyways, so, uh, 
but yeah so uh, trying to figure a way to wrap this up because we only have four, I'm I'm not paying for Zoom and it's going to close in about 40 it closes at 45 minutes <laughs> oh I didn't know that that was a thing about Zoom I'm not sure if that's a thing anymore but when it, the pandemic first happened it, you could only do it for 45 minutes at a time I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, and if you're the pandemic for it, had quite yeah. high numbers of yeah, but usage. Um, yeah, you know, um, some people call like um, uh, you know, this whole thing like kind of outsider art. You know, uh, it's it's been compared, it's been kind of sort of outsider art, and I, I guess usually when you need a societal like when things change in society like it's it's usually starts with the outsider art you know mm -hmm. but, then, but then again wonder woman was like only a year away so it was gonna have to <laughs> either way but I, I love fantima fantima is one of my favorite like early age creations uh early golden age characters because mm -hmm. uh, the stories are just weird they're just weird and strange yeah. and like it, it's quite you don't fun. get to read very many weird things anymore yeah yeah it's quite fun that like the first female hero was essentially um a skeleton spirit killing, yeah. killing like random like you know english pit hat helmet colonizing dudes you know yeah for sure and I, I feel like that's more fun than like what you could imagine the worst of the golden age uh like of the 40s would do you know right for sure that's fun that's that's entertaining and i don't know you can see you see why like this this idea was popular you know yeah as opposed to like uh and it, it does eventually prove that there was a market for this although uh we need more superheroes that turn into skulls and kill people like we have, <laughs> yeah. we have like the specter and we have uh the, the, pretty much the specter it, it has it somewhat has a similar mo but uh i think the only one even close would be um i don't remember his name the the guy who made a deal with the devil and he goes on fire and he's a skeleton oh, ghost writer that one yep yeah Although uh, I I would say like uh, Phantom's most modern like similar superhero is this probably something somebody like the Spectre. We sh we should probably look over the Spectre at some point. The Spectre is pretty fun, but um, I like you know. Um, could you argue this is also the birth of slasher movies? Uh, maybe. Does it predate them? Slasher movies. Uh, some film critics argue. Okay, so like the first slasher movie, it like generally is like um, it's, it's an English movie uh called uh, I I forget its name, but um, uh, but I I've heard a few people argue that like the the Mummy is actually the first real slasher movie. Really? Yeah, which is an interesting argument to make, but uh, because basically they do follow the exact structure. Of that but oh it, interesting yeah but it's like I, I believe okay now i have to know this for certain <laughs> I, I, i've I, piqued I, your interest too yeah. much when was the first mummy movie made uh 1932 so yeah okay the mummy comes first huh hmm. uh, interesting i've actually never seen quite them. the interesting find yeah I, I one of my blind spots, unfortunately, is like the Universal, uh, the original Universal horror movies. I I, I want to like catch up on those at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. Uh, you could feel like this comic is still stuck in like uh, is still has a one foot into like the whole pulp. Uh, like you know, comics of this time were very, you know, they were a little uh, kill crazy, and they their favorite thing to come up with was just inventive ways to kill people and right it's fun that a lady got to do that i think consistently yeah for sure for sure and it's more sympathetic to kill like weird english hunters than uh just random people i think like i think absolutely all agree that the english hunter is a, a english hunter in uh the jungles is a weird is a 
a person that probably we, we don't need more of. We don't need more. Yeah, for sure. I don't know well, if that's uh, what they were going for at the yeah, time yeah. of making. Yes, but exactly. it is appreciated at it the is. time of reading. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you read uh, Flesher Hanks' other stuff, if we keep, uh, if you, if, as we get to start, if we ever get around to doing Stardust someday, um, he he also likes, uh, uh like Stardust is so funny because he like literally the first comic he he stops the rotation of the Earth. So that he can throw all the communists off. Like that's the first first issue. Okay, of that. Then. Yeah. That's quite a statement to take. Yeah. Quite a stance to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real real big believer in that sort of stuff. Anyways. We know where they stand. Yeah. Or may have been gangsters. It's been a while since I've read uh, the uh, Stardust, um, but I, I go look this up. It's public domain, or buy buy the collections. It goes to it goes. I buy the collections. It's um, I, 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 yeah, buy the collections. I, I, I these are quite fun reads. Uh, if if you're if you can stomach learning even more than a little bit about the creator behind it uh and fair trigger warning on that guy so um uh thanks for anybody watching uh opus do you do you have uh someplace you would like to like send maybe the two or three people that click on this uh not yet okay. one day i will okay okay uh thanks for stopping by everybody